Think of um, here. Hold, hold on to this. Think of um, external hip rotation. So if I'm standing. So how did that feel? It felt really good. I just could feel my knees right. kind of wobbling in toward the end. So as I was fatiguing, my knees started caving in, especially this one a little bit. Okay, your left knee? So that's the only thing that I have to focus on next time. Alright, yeah. And then when you're doing that, just think of... Um, here, hold, hold on to this. Think of... Uh, external hip rotation so if i'm standing straight up okay this is me like squatting normally right right and then external hip rotation it's literally trying to spread the floor or just turning my knees out okay so you doing that is going to put a lot of tension uh, on your it band which is okay all right but then it's going to prevent us from when we squat for our knees to cave in. So if I stay constantly spreading the floor, I'm going to come up, and then I'm still constantly, I'm still focused on pressing out, and I'm coming up. So just focus on that, next one, you'll be fine. Make sure you get the pause, alright? So as I mentioned guys in the first video, I'm working on tempo squat so you can see my uh, eccentric, my negative portion of the squat is a little bit slower and I got a slight pause at the bottom. Uh, while Sarah E, she is just going for just a regular tempo um, up and down on the squats. Two more. Good. Deep breath. Focus on pushing those legs out. Easy. So you did how many more? Two more. Two more? Okay. And how'd that feel with adjusting the feet? Okay. Yeah. What do you like what are you feeling different compared to what you were doing before? You're like, can I breathe? Yeah. <laughs> can I chill? Oh. Too bad. When I spread the floor, I'm able to, it feels like I'm able to push up the weight a lot easier. Okay. Like um, out of the bottom? Yeah. So whenever I push my knees out, it creates, I don't know, it's like this energy that helps me boost the weight up a yeah. lot easier. And my core becomes even more engaged too when I do that. Whereas before, when my knees were caving in, I feel like uh, my entire, like, it felt harder to push the bar. Or right, the right. So, yeah. sorry, I'm like all out of breath. It's all good. That's why, that's a natural reaction. We want to get her natural reaction. So from there, guys, we moved on to Romanian deadlifts. And uh, I'm doing the same thing with most of these exercises today. I'm going with a tempo, so two to three second negative and a one to two second hold. Uh, while well, she's going to be doing just a regular tempo. And guys, do not neglect this exercise. It's great for your hamstrings. Uh, I'm going to go into a little bit detail right now. A lot of guys shy away from exercises like this, uh, but you need to do this if you want to have a complete physique, okay? Not only aesthetically, but even if you want to have a good, you know, be strong in your lifts and use proper mechanics and use the proper muscles. So don't be afraid of doing Romanian deadlifts, glute bridges, things like that. So now we got Sarai uh, doing her set of Romanian deadlifts. Uh, and then if you guys watched, uh, I think it was the first video that her and I trained together, we went over uh, the differences between Romanian and uh, regular deadlifts. So if you haven't, go back and watch that. Um, <clears throat> after that, guys, we went on to one of, which is becoming 
the most hated exercise for me, Bulgarian split squats. Uh, it just gets all parts of your legs, glutes, hamstrings, quads, everything. And um, I go into a little bit of detail right now on uh, my foot placement just because uh, everybody has different foot placement. On my tutorial video, I have it where when you're doing these, to put your foot flat on there, like so the sole or so the laces are touching the bench. But I've been experimenting and for those of you that maybe don't have as much, I guess, foot mobility, like myself, sometimes when I do this, flat, the bottom of my foot cramps up like crazy. So I'll alter it. Sometimes I'll do it where it's bad, where, it's, where my toes are bent, and sometimes I'll do it where my laces are on. But try it out, see what works for you. Like most stuff, whatever feels good. All right, so we just finished legs up and we did not get to do well i wasn't gonna do it anyway but we did not get to do uh donkey what is it? Donkey, donkey kick, kicks man? donkey kicks one of my favorites because they didn't have a machine and they didn't have the strap but you got uh you got some beef with with the way yeah there's definitely a huge misconception when it comes to that exercise more so with the cable I've done it with a variety of friends and just in general, I think that there's so many different angles that people think that um, when they're doing it at those angles that they're gonna, you know, get a better pump or, or get a bigger, uh, yeah, boot, yeah boot. basically. Or a booty pump? <laughs> exactly. You can say it. <laughs> a booty pump. PG-13. <laughs> but um, they think that their results are gonna be a lot better if they, you know, if they're like leaning over and they're trying to like get their knee involved somehow. So basically what she's saying is she's gonna do a, a tutorial video, right? Yes. All right, cool. So for you ladies out there, we're gonna get you a tutorial video. I'm trying to get this light out. We're gonna get you a tutorial video starring Sarai. <laughs> and um, yeah, you can show them how it's done. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, she was, she just like went off on a crazy rant one day and I was like, you gotta make a video. <laughs> so soon to come, maybe the next video is gonna be uh, Donkey kickback yeah, tutorial. Kickbacks. All right, so uh, that's gonna conclude this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we're gonna see you on the next video.